welcome to another episode of Teacher's Corner. This is going to be a playthrough of the episode, The Measure of Morality, Part 2. Uh, just a reminder, at the recording of this episode, I am still sick, so I am prone to coughing fits. I may stop um, and pause for a while in the middle of talking, or there may be a pause in gameplay. That's because of a coughing fit. Um, all right. And there are no, to my knowledge, there are no spoilers in this episode, but I am told that uh, it does make, and I'm quoting a friend, it does make the slog fest of every other episode in this game worth it. And you will go holy bleep at parts of this episode. So again, this is quoting a friend. So, without any further ado, The Measure of Morality, Part 2. And let's find it. Here we go. Looks like the Excalbians are ready to resume the trials. As you know, our participation is required, whether we like it or not. Under the circumstances, keeping them waiting isn't wise. Alright, go to the trailer system. We're already there in the Beta Quadrant. And this mission can only be accomplished as a single player. In the future you'll be able to take one friend with you. For playing this we will get expertise, experience points. During the uh, anniversary event you'll get daily event progress. You'll get some dilithium ore and you will get the presidential hand axe mark 12 uh, mark 12 epic and you'll get the Universal Kit Module Anti-Proton Leash. Um, the Hand Axe is uh, re-rollable, so you'll be able to change those mods if you choose. Alright, and without any further ado, let's accept and begin. Here we go. All right, let's talk to Yarnik. We have seen many things in the trials. Your actions have given us much to consider, but we require more data. I think this has gone on long enough, Yarnik. Release us. You can remove yourself from the trials if you so desire. I believe you are aware of the consequences such an action will bring. Yes, you've been quite clear on that. Then, if you wish to proceed, the portal awaits. We know the drill, Yarnek. The next trial lies this way. Follow Lincoln! Alright, here we go. More slogging. Yay, bright white screen. That's what viewers love to see. There we go. This is incredible. The architecture, the technology, the art. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. Where are we? This is ancient Iconia. During the war, I was part of a mission sent here through time. The Excalians have dropped us into another planetary assault by the look of things. There's a battle site ahead. We might be able to learn more about our surroundings by examining it. Agreed. Keep your eyes open for hostile forces, though. We don't want them getting the drop on us. Examine the bodies. Fascinating. According to my tricorder, these soldiers are from extinct species. The Dinosians and the Ichabar. That's right. They were part of a force that attacked here to acquire the Iconians. Or to acquire tech the Iconians withheld from them. If this is the fall of Iconia, we might be able to stop the chain of events that eventually lead to the war. Considering the previous trials, I can see that as the pivotal event we were sent here to encounter. I think you're right. 
Let's see what else we can find here. That last hit wasn't far from here. Can a heavy gun Leave fire the administration Keep building. your weapons handy. Oh, we have search for the world heart first. But we know where the world heart is. More fighting ahead. Wait. Are those Iconians? More Iconian pets. Kill them! Let them die with their master! to catch the Viconia. You are not known to us. Call it and identify yourself. I am Admiral Scotty Cam Sirhan of the United Federation of Planets. I do not recognize your species, but you have taken up arms to defend Iconia. That makes you an ally and your assistance is appreciated. You have my thanks. You're welcome. I am called Lemiran. My thanks to you as well, newcomers. Our situation is quite dire. Mtara, our leader, has fallen. Iconia will soon be lost to our enemies. We must withdraw. We were trying to reach a nearby gateway when those soldiers attacked. Their reinforcements could arrive at any moment. Will you help us once again? I have a to pick. Why don't they recognize me? I've already been through and, and helped them. The warfare of cowards. Okay, so I need to get over there. For each herald they kill, I will take a hundred of theirs. For each Iconian, a thousand. All of this, the loss they must feel, and the anger. I'm not doing very well today. Hold. Reading an energy spike in the gateway ahead. Something's activating it. No. There will be no holding. We will fight! Slay any foe that dares to cross our path! Once more under the breach, dear friends. Once more. Henry V. Nice. to get will she recognize me as well I have returned to the time of my greatest failure 
It sickens me to see them held by Kodia in such a state. Virtual ruin and the barbaric dregs of that galaxy. This time, I shall not fail. Mirren, give me the world heart. Give me the means to rid the cosmos of our enemies. To return I, Kodia, to greatness once more. That's the ticket of our time. But how? Iconians can't travel in time. I hear the bloodlust in your voice. I see the hatred burning in your eyes. But you do not frighten me. The world heart is ours. We will use it to rebuild what has been lost. Be gone from here, demon. You will not prevail on this day. She's right. This is a fight you can't win. That energy is protecting the demon. I can disable the gateway to stop that, but I need time. You fought a war with the Iconians and survived? supposed to be doing here. The gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. The gateway is restored. I will signal you when I am ready once more. Dang, never. The gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. Gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. The gateway is restored. I will signal you when I am ready once more. Give myself a sec here. Gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. Where is that evil to get? Borg to 
What have you done? No, you can't. This is just the... Oh, boy. There goes my uh we are the board. My rating. Existence as you know it is over. Yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap. That not good. That creature that was to cat. A decat of nightmare, utterly corrupted by hatred and a thirst for vengeance. But what did she become? They're called Borg. They're a collective of oppressive cybernetic entities. I have seen terrible things on this day. The fall of my civilization, of my beloved friends, of the totality of Iconian knowledge and culture. I cannot abide these tragedies. I cannot. Please, you can follow that monster. You can go where I cannot. I beseech you, return the world heart to me. Do not let Iconia fall to darkness. We will, Lemurin. Okay. And it says, enter the gateway. Okay, speak with Abraham Lincoln. Something is amiss, my friends. The trial has taken a life of its own, expanding well beyond its original parameters. We've noticed. Though I implored Yarnick and his ilk to bring the trial to an end, they have refused. They wish to see how you address this new crisis. I'm not surprised. Tread lightly. There is an ill wind blowing upon this venture. I fear one that may consume us all before the end. Thank you for the information, sir. These Borg, are they an evolution of control? Did someone else try to recreate it later on? Not to my knowledge. Unlikely. The Borg Collective existed well before the creation of control, although when you add temporal manipulation into the equation. No, I already have a headache, and temporal mechanics will only make it worse. Agreed. Something you'd like to add, Commander? Seven. What we saw on Esau 4. Your detailed knowledge of the Borg. You used to be one of them, didn't you? Yeah. I was assimilated by the Borg at a young age and liberated by the crew of the USS Voyager later in life. The assimilation process is reversible, mostly. But it leaves scars inside and out. I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm sorry to ask this now. Are we going to have a problem here? With you and the Borg? Under the circumstances, I can see how you could become emotionally compromised. This isn't the first time I've run into Borg since my liberation, and I doubt it'll be the last. I'll be fine, Commander. If it makes you feel any better, if I go native here, you have permission to shoot me. Fair enough. Thanks. Any advice on fighting the Borg? Good question. Right. Combat with the Borg is likely. We need frequency remodulators. Tell me when you want to proceed, and I can open the force field ahead at that time. You can access your replicator from your inventory window and use it to make frequency remodulators. Once you make a frequency re remodulator, you can equip it to your device slot. Um, now, you only need frequency remodulators if you are using a energy weapon. I am not. I am using the TR-116B. Um, also, you could use the Tommy gun from a recent uh, mission reward, or you could use um, Zephyr Cochran's shotgun. You could also use other things like Lex throwing knives. 
as weapons against the Borg without the need for remodulation. Borg can adjust so. their shielding and render weapons ineffective. Frequency remodulator can adjust your weapons to bypass their adaptations and force them to readapt. Not a perfect solution, but it beats having a useless weapon against them. Don't forget to equip a frequency remodulator. It's going to make me equip it. Whether I like it or not. Delphic Puddle, what is this? Don't forget to equip a frequency remodulator. Okay, interesting. I'll try that out later. As for the frequency remodulator, there we go. I have equipped it. And now I shall unequip it. There we go. Alright, we are on a Borg ship. Borgified to Ken. Enhancing an Iconium with cybernetics a bit excessive? Borg 101, better assimilation through cybernetics. Watch out, they're energizing the deck plating with weapons grade plasma. Heads up! The Borg Boy. and those outpost are activating! Let's try this again. Nabbit. gonna be dying over and over what the heck up I ain't used to. Especially with only one of my OP engineers with me. Get her. Yay. Okay. Now I should have some uh, staying power. out for those activated uh, deck plates.
exactly are we supposed to be heading here? Speak with my allies, okay. I don't like where this is heading. The board, they're relentless. We've defeated them before, Commander. We can do it again. I'm the factor here. The longer the Borg have to build their forces and strengthen their position, the harder it'll be to undo their plans. Let's move it. Designated seven of nine, tertiary adjunct of Unimatrix Zero One. You will be assimilated. Resistance is you. O M G. This the Borg Seven. Defenses. Watch where they're targeting. We should be able to simply break the line of sight. Yeah, that works. Or not. site again. This is something that we found works in other uh, didn't work so well that time. my past from time to time, but it usually doesn't shoot back. Are you alright? We need to deal with my evil twin and the queen, however. The thought of them both running free makes me very uncomfortable. Same here. Let's get moving. Alright, once more into the breach. Looks like we go this way. Hive ground on steroids. Okay. Get those Borg! Get those Borg! I think we got them all, at least in this area. Okay. Watch out! More drones! 
knew that was coming. Room. Could be weapons fire. Any idea what's in there, Seven? It's the personal chamber of the Borg Queen. Maybe the Excalbian sent some allies to help out. If so, they might need our help. Want me to lower the field? Yes, let's find out what's going on in there. Queen. So then what are we fighting Indeed. against? This is damn peculiar. If the Excalbians killed her, where are they now? Be careful. Whatever did this could still be around and it might not be friendly. Understood. Stay sharp. Not sure if this is better or worse than what Control had planned. Pretty sure it's worse, but I'm a little biased. How soon you are? So frightened of perfection. Last time I checked, we're not the ones hiding in the dark. That's a good point. Here's another. You are obsolete. That Old, sounds like weaker. Inferior to me in every way. Inferior to you? You're a pathetic copy of me hiding behind a legion of drones. You're weak. Tell me, why are you on you? There will be no struggle, no resistance. You're a smart girl, you'll figure it out eventually. How predictable. How human. We know where that path ends. Futility. But. And a new nightmare begins. So, the Borgified Seven of Nine got away and is now queen of the Watch and floor. now we must defeat her. Keep moving and don't stand on the electrified. Now they have a cybernetic dinosaur. Shooting now is in a biology way. A cybernetic dinosaur. I <laughs> love the way that she puts that. More automated defenses are coming online. There we go. Whoo, that was close. Why do you struggle? I am war. I am eternal. My victory uh. is inevitable. That's... How is she still functional? There's so much more to me than I possibly imagined. Okay. Well, 
while since Montgomery Scott still uh available. Let's see if he can help get me out of this. There we go. Okay, you round small. two. You lack harmony, cohesion, greatness. It will be your undoing. Really? His ass just got kicked again. Ha <laughs> ha! You get a little bit. here at last, my friends. Alright, where's Lincoln? There he is. Let's pick up this spoil of war. I'm glad you're still with us, my friends. I'll ask you to come with me. Yarnick wishes to speak with you, and time is short. This had better not be about his ridiculous trial. Of course, it's going to be, because that's the name of the game. Yarnick. The evidence in the trial is clear. Adherents of evil will stop at nothing to ensure their victory. Nothing is sacred. No law is absolute. In comparison, the proponents of good are made weak by their morality and other self-imposed limitations. They lack the freedom to achieve their goals at all costs. We don't have time for this. If you don't stop the trial now, we could all be at risk. His troops are coming from previous trials. Ruh -roh. Already? Sniper shot, anyway. There we go. Kill the drones. So, Borgified 7 and 9. thinking I had the Nicole shield for some reason. Where is he? There he is. Impossible. Safety measures were in place. The participants should not be able to escape the trial areas or pursue agendas separate from the trials. You said it yourself. Evil doesn't follow the rules. Nothing is sacred even the life of its creator. The Borg Queen of our creation is amassing greater power. 
This includes the assimilation of this planet and everything on it. We must consider our alternatives while there is still time. There is no time for debate, Yarnek. We need to take action now. Admiral, a Borg drone, or Borg, sorry, octahedron, just appeared in orbit. Our sensors can't seem to determine where it came from. It just appeared out of thin air. Understood. Tell the transporter room to beam us up on my mark. We should take care of that Borg ship while we can. Indeed. Will you be joining us, Commander? Apparently not. President Lincoln has asked me to assist him with something. If I don't see either of you again, it has been an honor. Same to you, Commander. Stay safe. Transporter room is standing by, Admiral. Are you ready to beam up? Yes, three to beam up. Because my bridge officer. Yeah. The Borg Queen is assimilating the Excalbians one by one. If she's not stopped, it's only a matter of time before she learns to use their matter-shaping powers. How much time, exactly? Difficult to say. She will learn to replicate well-known patterns first, like Borg ships. It could take her much longer to learn to make entirely new things or to create things from imagination and memory. We'll be dead long before that happens. She has to be stopped now. Here we go. Looks like you could use a hand here. Whoa! I hope you don't mind, but I brought some friends. Okay. This is Captain Jonathan Archer of the what? Starship Enterprise. Apparently okay. All hands battle stations. Uh, 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 I'm uh, sure history never forgets the name Enterprise. Um. There's an old saying fortune favors the bull. Well, I guess we're about to find out. I think it's time to do Whoa. a little assimilating of our own. Huh? Okay. And so discovery. Resistance is futile? Your Majesty? Resistance. You're a tragic collection of relics and fools. The first of many to die. Okay. Um, yeah. Special Let's go. Sierra. And fire. Let's do this! Let's give us some, uh... power-ups here. There we go. Let's get some of that on there.
Let's make you an instrument of death to all of your surroundings. Oh, and let's put that on ya. Let's put that on ya. Let's just, you know, kill all your defenses. There you go. How's that, Seven? Borgpod Seven, how's that for ya? Still inevitable? Despite our differences, we still believe that we can find common ground. You have given us much to consider and to understand. You have shown us that it is not good to subject others to dangers that we are not willing to face ourselves. Let us meet face to face one last time and resolve these matters. Very well. We'll beam down and join you there, Yarnek. Okay. Return and accept. This has been a learning experience for me as well as the Excalians. I can imagine. I saw what I was and what I could have been, which makes me grateful for the life I have now. Still, this experience should make the next session with my counselor interesting. Indeed. In the meantime, that sensor grid in the trailer system will need some final adjustments. If you can get me back to my runabout, I can finish those. I can also speak to some Fenris Rangers about looking into the Orion smuggling activity in trailers. Unofficially, of course. Of course. And Michael. Sounds like Yarnek and his people have a lot to think about. I hope they mean it when they say they're going to pursue goodness. As for me, it's strange being, what did the Borg Queen call it? A simulacrum? A copy. And an incomplete one at that. I'm based on a Starfleet science officer. I was going to figure it out sooner or later. Now that I know, I've decided to continue what was started here. In my own way. How so? I've asked the Excalbians to make my transformation permanent, and they've agreed. So, for the Excalbians, the trials are over, but for me, the human adventure is just beginning. Indeed. If you don't mind, I could use a ride to the nearest Alliance Starbase. I'd like to speak with Starfleet Command about reactivating my commission, among other things. It'll be my pleasure, Commander. Glad you'll be joining us out there. It's been quite some time since I had to go into combat. It was an honor to fight by your side. Thank you for standing with us in the battle. The Excalbians have asked me to remain as I am now, and to serve as an ambassador for this planet. These people have a great deal to learn about the universe, and I believe the Alliance can help them with that. And, having some experience as a statesman, I might be able to make that process a little smoother for all parties involved. If anyone can do that, it'll be you, sir. Should you return here, you will be most welcome. You've done all of us on Excalbia a great service today. One we will never forget. And for that, I thank you. Until we meet again, my friend. Farewell. Good luck to you, sir. Farewell. Speak with your name. We have learned much from your efforts in the trial. And did you make a ruling on the matter? We did. After reviewing the events, we have decided to rule in favor of the concept of good. 
and will you abide by the terms set at the beginning of the trials? We will. As we have ruled in favor of good, the people of Excalvia will pursue those virtues from this day forward. Very well. I wish you luck in that pursuit, Yarnick. Leave Excalbia. Admiral, the transporter room is ready when you are. Are you ready to beam aboard? Yes, beam us up. Alrighty. Well, that was interesting. Okay. Let's report now, to I'd like command. To put some distance between myself and Excalbia. <laughs> Returning to Earth, catching up on what's happened since 2257. <laughs> Sounds like a good place to start to me. I understand that an old friend of mine is on a similar journey now. I'll get in touch with Commander Stamets soon. I'd love to get his unique perspective on things. There's a lot waiting for me out there. Thank you for helping me get the chance to discover once again. Okay, and for that we get all of these. There we go. And that was Measure of Morality Part 2. All I have to say is just wow. Um, yeah, not expected. Obviously, they got, um, it was pretty obvious they got sound bites from various episodes, but wow, did they do a good job mes meshing them in there. Um, yeah. So, what an episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.